Well, from the moment that South Africa beat Australia in the final group game and the semi-final matchups ended up being a little bit different from what many have predicted. There have been fears that Edgebaston could have a lot of empty seats for the semi-final clash between England and Australia. George, do you think that's likely? Yes, I'm afraid I do. I'm really sorry to say that. I don't know how many, but I think there'll be significant pockets of empty seats. I hope it's as small a proportion as 10%, but I fear it might not be. Is there anything that can be done or is anything being done to try and mitigate that? Yes, to both of those. There's lots that is being done. So there's a resale platform, an official resale platform, and 70-odd thousand tickets have gone on resale throughout the tournament. But obviously there's not a huge amount of time between these games. And the other problem is that some people who have bought uh, the tickets for this game originally are deciding to try and sell them at a profit on other resale sites or maybe even outside the ground and I don't really know how you can stop that. The ICC are intervening to cancel some of those tickets so you are taking a risk if you buy or sell them that way but I think they're probably able to reach a tiny percentage of those that are on sale in, in that way. There, there is a resale site I think you know it's probably responsible for us to urge you to look there I mean as of right now I checked a few minutes ago there are tickets available for Thursday they go very quickly. I imagine it's enormously frustrating to try and buy tickets that way, but we haven't got anything better to offer, I'm afraid. Why, why do you think it's be, there have been so, much, so many more Indian fans? That, that question has been brought up. So yeah. many more Indian fans than, than perhaps our other Yeah, it's really, really interesting. A real insight into the, to the market, I suppose. Okay, basically, Indian supporters are more passionate about white ball cricket than English supporters. I take no pleasure in saying that. It probably shouldn't be the case in England, but I'm pretty confident that it's the case. The initial ballot, uh, actually even ahead of the tickets going on general sale, was equally available for Indian supporters and English supporters. Uh, so the Barrett Army and the Barmy Army were given the same opportunities. Four times as many people from the Barrett Army bought tickets as the Barmy Army. That's, that's a fact. Uh, now, the, the Barmy Army are predominantly a test cricket supporting mm -hmm. group. And there's a lot of test cricket coming up. You know, there's the Ashes, and, and people may have saved their money for that. And, uh, you know, they'd like to go abroad a lot as well, and they may have saved their money for that. Uh, and perhaps, you know, England's record in World Cups hadn't encouraged them. But I just think it's another reminder that the game in this country really needs some help. Mm. It's not a very strong uh, state. And if you take the sort of South Asian support out of cricket in England or Wales, and you've got real trouble. So it's just another insight into that market. Well, hopefully, hopefully there will be some changes or some, some exchanges of tickets and we will get as many fans as possible here. One thing I know for certain is that we will be here and we'll keep you up to date with all the news ahead of that semi-final right here on ESPN Crick Info.